Alright, here is a quick look at the first Sense 3.6 ROM on the HTC Droid Incredible 2. As you can see, it runs really smooth. Go into App Tray. Sorry, let it focus there for a minute. Um, I also installed tweaks with this. I installed the leading Droid tweaks. I'll put a link in the description. After you install the ROM, just choose the tweaks and install those after the ROM boots up. You don't have to, but I kind of like tweaks instead of just a plain stock ROM. You see Wi-Fi works, mobile network works. Let's go down to about phone. Go to software. So you can see Android 4.0.4 with HTC Sense 3.6. This is IC Taz 3.6. Let's go to the kernel. This is running the stock HTC kernel. I believe that's a stock HTC kernel. Let's go back. You, um, this is a feature with Sense, like you get the personalized button. Um, you get the IC Taz like theme. You can see he includes his own wallpaper. You can change the skins. You only get three, but you can hit the download more button, and you can always download more. You can change the lock screen. Right now it's just set on wallpaper. You can change it to friend stream, weather. I'll just do weather to show you. Just hit apply. And it'll say weather lock screen applied. And, sorry, wait for that focus. And as you've seen, it showed the weather. This does include some, like a few custom wallpapers. Sorry, that says, this says HTC wallpapers. Focus. There. See, you get Taz. The rest are stock. So, let's hit back. Hit back. Now, let me go into the tweaks. Um... Okay. Show you some of the tweaks that you can put on here and install. We'll go over to status bar. You can hide and reorder quick quick settings. So when you pull down it it goes to quick settings automatically. I don't have the quick settings in enabled right now, so battery options, click op clock options, I mean. I'm using the Galaxy Nexus to record this, so I don't have the touch to focus. This says C and brightness control. That's where you slide your finger across the top to improve the brightness. Well, I have to restart the status bar for that to take effect change carrier label, you can change recent apps dialog style. As you can see you can put default Windows Phone 7. I'll just change it to Windows Phone 7 just to show you. Um, you can use a custom background image with those. When you press and hold home you can see you get like the Windows Phone 7 slash it acts like a WebOS style. Like when you have more, they'll be going across the top and stuff. You can change carry label. You can change colors of everything. Let's go over to HTC Sense. You can use some tweaks. You have normal, super smooth, and ultra smooth. Let's just leave it on normal. You can skip the unlock carousel animation. Sorry, I just got a G Talk message. Um. You can hide app icons, you can have app drawer call, you can change the number of columns. Just gonna leave that on for. You can have the where it uses the pages in the app drawer. You can have a custom background image in the app drawer. I don't have any pictures on this SD card, so um but you if you click that you just have to crop any picture that you have on your SD card. Let's go to lock screen. Let's restart HTC Sense. Grant. 
Alright. Um, some of these features aren't yet available. These are Leedroid Tweaks version 6, by the way. You can use the volume up and down keys to wake the phone, though. So, let's go over to Miscellaneous. We have additional phone info. You turn the phone screen automatically on when message arrives. Uncheck that because that gets kind of annoying when it's in your pocket or something. So, that's pretty much it for the Leedroid Tweaks. Oh, I, I forgot HTC Sense had to restart. Here's the updated dock bar. If I can get that to focus. Come on, phone. There we go. This is the updated uh, dock bar. As you can see, you can drag and drop, and you can have boulders in the dock bar too. You still get the carousel animation that was in Sense 3.0 and 3.5. So it keep scrolling all the way. You have to keep scrolling really hard to get the little carousel though. I don't think I can do it one hand. Hit home. Alright. Let me show you guys how to install this. Let me restart. Oops. Hit cancel. Um, I'm just going to make this easy and I'm just going to pull the battery out because fast boot is checked. So to install this just pull out battery. Put battery back in. All right. Now press volume down and power at the same time. And you're going to get into the H boot. You're going to wait for this to load. Make sure you don't have an image on there, then you're going to click recovery. You can wait for it to load. Alright, now once you're in the recovery, go down to wipe data factory reset. Sorry, wait for it to get it to focus in there. You're going to go down to wipe data factory reset hit power go to yes I'm going to hit no because I already have it installed you're going to go to wipe cache you're going to hit yes on wipe cache I'm going to hit no because again I already have it installed you're going to go into wipe Dalvik cache again hit, hit yes I'm going to go back because I already have it installed once you do all that go to install zip Sorry, that was that was my fault. Go to install zip, go to choose zip, go down to IC task since 3.6. zip, hit power, hit yes. Again, once this fully boots up and you get past like the setup and you're on the HTC home screen, reboot back into this. Reboot back in the clockwork mod. Go back to choose zip, go down to Andy Bones Tweaks Incredible 2 version 6. And again, you're just going to hit yes on the install. And I'm going to hit no because I already have them. We're going to go back and we're going to reboot. And I'm going to show you guys the boot animation. So, so far, the Galaxy Nexus camera has been pretty decent I guess I had the HTC sensation I really like the like the touch to focus that helped a lot you can see the, the droid eye Oh, one more thing, if you're S on, trying to flash this, once you finish flashing the full ROM, not the tweaks, the full ROM, boot back into bootloader, uh, hang on, I'll, I'll actually show you guys. The battery's dying. 
I actually didn't show you guys the up updated camera. But here's the updated Sense 3.6 camera. I forgot to show you guys that. Alright. So, um, after you flash the full ROM, before you flash the tweaks, this is after you flash the ROM, make sure you pull out the battery, hold volume down, and power. You're going to get into H boot. You see it's it's already on fast boot. It's gonna check for an image, it's not there. Once it's it's on fast boot already, get your USB cable and make sure it's plugged into the computer. Just plug this in. Alright. Now this is going to say fast boot USB. Sorry, let me close that out. And as you can see, just extract the zip. See the see the IC uh, the IC TAS dot zip the folder right here. I already ex extracted the zip. Just right click on the zip and hit extract too. Um, where is it? See, it's right here. Just right click and choose extract to and then just choose the folder that you want to extract it to once you extracted it go back to that zip and you're, you're gonna see a boot.img in there hold shift and right click on this folder and it, you're gonna open up a command window that command window is already gonna be in the directory so you don't really have to worry about like having to CD into this directory um so when you're in this type fast boot flash boot boot.img and hit enter and as you can see it's going to flash the boot image once this is done go back to the phone um if you want you can type fast boot reboot but you don't have to you can go to your phone you can go down to re reboot right there and you can hit power once that's done, just unplug your phone from the, the computer. And it's going to boot up. It won't boot up if, if you're S on and you don't flash the boot image. So make sure you flash the boot image because if you don't, you're not going to get anywhere. You're just going to wind up stuck on the HTC screen. But anyways... That was my quick look at Sense 3.6 and how to install it on an S on HTC Droid Incredible. If you're S off, don't worry about flashing the boot.img. You can just install the ROM with no problems. So don't flash the boot.img if you're S if you're S off. If you're S on, make sure you do though.